think we all know by now that warming up helps your skating, but obviously the effects of warming up don't last forever. So if you're out skating all day, which is like what exactly what I'm going to be doing today, how can you maintain those benefits of warming up so you can keep skating good for the whole day? I've recently been reading some research on different things you can do to maintain the effects of warming up throughout the day. So like I said, today I'm going to be out skating. I'm putting these different things from the research to the test to see if they actually help my skating throughout the day. I'm going to be showing you what they are and then, uh, and yeah, so there we go. So we've just got to the next spot and we've just been on the metro, basically just chilling for probably about 20 minutes to get to this next spot. So now we're gonna get a little bit into those warm up tactics. And based on the research that I've been reading, 20 minutes of rest would result in a 15% decrease in jump height. And then 40 minutes rest would result in like a 20% decrease in jump height. So having that just small little break is gonna have a big effect on your skating. So the question is then like, how do you get back warmed up? Is there a better way than having to just go through the full warm up again? And that's what we're gonna get to now. So the research showed that basically to get back your performance after you've had that break, uh, the best way to do it would be like five minutes of some kind of cardio. So for us, that we've already done that, just skating to the spot. So just pushing to the spot, pushing like normal and pushing switch if you can as well. That's already the cardio bit done, mate. Like ticks off and ready to move on to the next bit. And the next thing the research showed then was to do just some kind of explosive movements. So they did four sets of five max effort jumps with like 15 seconds rest in between each set. So then you'll essentially have to do just skating to the spot and then to get back into it, like two minutes of jumps and boom, you're back in the game. No. Yeah, you feeling good? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, so there we go. Like Science. <laughs> So there's a couple of other interesting things as well that I talked about in this research. One of them is pretty impractical for skating and that was wearing heated clothes uh, in that rest period would help reduce the losses of performance as well. Another thing that was shown in this research as well was that standing up in that rest period reduced the losses of performance in comparison to sitting down. So basically the takeaway message is stand up, five minutes of cardio which you can get by just pushing to the spot and then two minutes of some kind of explosive movements like height like jumps sprints, anything you want to do. Paradise of many to many spots. This is actually day two now of the video. In the last one, we didn't leave enough time, like in between the spots, to actually have the to be actually be able to put the the warm up tactic to the test. So I'm going to try that same little warm up, see how it goes. So yeah, we're basically doing this. It's just the five minute of cardio. Now we're going to do those four sets of five jumps. First trick of the day: skip across the gap. I'm just gonna land and like smack my shins on the He's scared now. I can't skip the gap, but I reckon this guy can. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> Session over. So we're like five minutes into the session and I would say like after those after those jumps, I'm feeling pretty good. I would say I'm probably feeling as good or maybe even better than I would have been if I'd just done like the whole warm up again. And, and yeah, it's much faster. So, so far I'm thinking this might be a good solution. Alright, so 
now it's probably been like 15 minutes without skating already, so I'm gonna do another three sets of the jumps and see if it gets us back in the game. So considering we've been waiting for like 15 minutes for these guys to walk past, I'm gonna do those jumps again to try and get back into the game. <laughs> All right, so we're here again at MacBo where Matt likes to warm up down the three. I don't know why, I really don't understand that at all. But uh, he's gonna be doing 10 tricks down the three for a certain cause that he's gonna to explain to us now, a skate related charity cause. So, so I'm, gonna, I'm gonna try and get 10 tricks down the, uh, down the three block over there. My friend of mine is trying to uh, like fundraise to get like an extension for the skate park. And he put out a clip saying kind of uh, do 10 tricks at your local spot and see if you can raise some money. So I'm going to try and get 10 tricks down the three block over here in Barcelona and try and help my friend get some, uh, some money in to uh, renovate this, uh, this amazing skate park in, uh, in the UK. Fuck yeah, muy bien. So, so there we go. I'm going to put a little link as well down in the description where you can, act, you can go to that link. And if you want to donate to the cause, that'll be amazing. Help these guys out, help them get that extension. And we're in the game. Yep. So what's the final verdict on this re-warm-up tactic? Is it a good solution to stay fresh throughout the day if you plan on skating all day? I would say, based on these last couple of days, that yes, it is a good solution. At least up until that point where you just naturally just run out of energy and just start feeling tired from just skating too much anyway. Up until that point, I definitely feel like I got the power back in my legs just as good, maybe even better than just going through the whole warm-up again and obviously it's much faster as well. So, so far I would recommend it, but obviously just try it out for yourself, see if it works good for you, and if it does, keep doing it. If it doesn't, get rid of it, don't do it. Like with anything really, you know, it's all about finding like the stuff that works good for you. And like I said, I'm gonna be putting a link in the description below where you can go and you can donate to that skate park extension. And on top of that as well, there are also Daily Push t-shirts now available. So I'm gonna be putting links for those in the description below as well, so go there, check that out. If you want to support The Daily Push, that's a good way to do that as well. And make sure you subscribe for regular content that's going to improve how you skate and how you feel when you skate. And that's it for this one.